Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In my previous video, I showed you the basics of building a custom combo box using Vue.js and Tailwind. We did that with a simple example where you could select a single movie genre. Today, I want to build on that knowledge and show you how to make a combo box that displays images and descriptions, which is great for things like destination selectors and like recipe selectors. Since I'll be uh, going a bit faster this time, if you are completely new to combo boxes, definitely check out my last tutorial first. I'll include a link in the description. Also keep an eye out, I'll soon be making another combo box tutorial where we'll explore how to have multiple selections at the same time. Remember, I've got this whole code snippet on my website. You'll find the link of that as well in the description below. So let's dive into the code. Here I am in my VS code with Vue.js and Tailwind CSS installed. As you can see the structure is almost same like the previous video. However, I'll still explain. So uh, we have a div with relative positioning which holds our uh, box container that is the drop down button that we have here. And when we click on it, we can see the options in the drop down. So this drop down is positioned absolute which is also inside this relative uh, div. So this relative div has the drop down button and then the actual items with the search function. So let's quickly go through the variables that we have in the script setup. As you can see, uh, travel destinations is an array of objects. So each object has the name, description and image URL that we are using to display here. So let's collapse it. So we have five variables here in total. We are using ref to make it reactive. In Vue.js, if you want to change something automatically, it has to be reactive. And this is a way of defining to be reactive. So we are storing the selected destination from the dropdown in this selected destination variable. Then the search term is the term that we actually type here. For example, now I'll type Iceland. And you can see that Iceland is coming as soon as we type. So this ice here is the search term. And then show list is the actual container that is holding the search term and also the uh, list of items. And then the box container is the drop down button and search input is the reference for this input box. So why uh, the reference for the search input and box container? I want the functionality. So when I click outside of this drop down, I want it to close so uh, since this search is absolutely positioned it is still considered as outside the button outside the box container so I've given the reference to it as well and added in the function so when we click here to type something it doesn't close let me quickly show that function so here is the function close dropdown here we are using the box container and search input references and we are using on mounted to uh, target that area. So we listen for a click event and whenever we listen for a click event, it triggers the close dropdown function. So when it triggers close dropdown, it checks if the click is outside the box, then it closes means it makes this value false. And if there is something typed inside this, when we close it, it is reset to empty string. So when we open again, there will be nothing. So let's let me show the UI part here. So as I said, uh, this box container has just this button and on click we are making the value of uh, show list invert. So we have this open and close toggle and then here for selected destination, we are just showing if there is a destination selected, we'll show the name of the destination. Okay, it's showing a drop down. Let me quickly fix that. So we are since we have an object here, it's like entire object and not just the name. So we'll just use name here. So selected destination dot name. So now we have it. So it will show selected destination. Otherwise, it will show a selected destination string. So if we refresh, we don't have anything. And if we click, we have the selected destination there. And this icon on the right, it's just animating with the show list state. So if it is open, it is rotating 180 degrees. If it's closed, again, coming back to its position. 
and I'm using transition transform from Tailwind to animate it. Let's come to the drop down itself. So here we have the input box. As I said, I have given the reference of search input. So when we click here, it doesn't close. And if we click outside, it closes. And as I said, the search term is the V model. So whatever we type here, it is sent to the search term. And then we are using search term in the function. I'll show. In the function filter destinations. So here what we are doing is we are uh, comparing the search term to the lowercase value of the destination. So if the search term is starting with the lowercase of the destination name, then it will be in the filtered destinations. So when we type, for example, I'll type R. We have only one item with this. Let's say yes. Okay. Yes, we have three items. So now Santroni Greece. It is converting this function is converting this uh, name to lowercase first and then it is checking if it is starting with the search term so since it is starting with s we have these three items now so that's what it's doing and when we click on any item this function select destination is being triggered and we are setting the value to the destination and as soon as we click we are resetting the value of the search term and closing closing the list see we are using the v4 loop to loop every destination here in the drop down and i just use some tailwind css to uh, arrange in this way okay now we'll uh, check for the custom scroll bar that you can see on here so if you go down we have the scoped style so here i created a custom uh, scroll bar if you don't know these uh, properties uh, this is what we use to uh, create a custom scroll bar so the track acts as the background of the scroll bar and then uh, we have the thumb the area where we click and hold and like drag to scroll and then the hover effect is on the thumb whenever we over we can see that we have a different color so uh, that's what uh, this style scope is doing so that's how you create a more visually appealing combo box with images and descriptions as always if you found this video helpful uh, please give it a like and hit that subscribe button and stay tuned next time we'll be tackling uh, a multi select combo box in Vue.js and again with Tailwind CSS so let me know in comments if there are any other variations of combo boxes you would like to see and i'll try my best to do it thank you for watching